Hi everyone, I'm Gina and today we're going to be counting the ATP oxidized from a sugar at any part of the glycolysis, PDC, or TCA pathways. The first problem asks for how much ATP is made from two molecules of 1,3-BPG. To better visualize this, it's nice to see where this molecule is in the glycolysis and what products it's going to make from here on out. We neglect the rest of the glycolysis pathway when looking at oxidizing from the middle of the pathway and just look at what is produced from here on out. So because we start with two molecules of 1,3-BPG, we make two ATP at PG kinase and another two at pyruvate kinase. So on this chart, we make four ATP, zero FADH2, and zero NADH. Next, we go to the PDC and TCA. Because we start off with two molecules of pyruvate because of the original two molecules of 1,3-BPG, we're going to go through the PDC and the TCA twice. So here we make two NADH. Now we make two NADH here. We make two NADH here, two GTP here, two FADH here, and finally two NADH here. So let's go and add that all up. So from the PDC, we made 2 NADH, 0 FADH, and 0 GTP. Then from the TCA, we made 6 NADH, 2 FADH2, and 2 GTP. Now we add everything up. In total, we have 8 NADH, 2 FADH2, and 6 GTP. Now we multiply NADH by 2.5 to get the number of ATP that that yields, and we get 20 ATP. Now we multiply the number of FADH by 1.5 to get how much ATP it yields, and we get 3 ATP. Now we add everything up together, and 29 ATP is yielded from the oxidation of two molecules of 1,3-BPG. Now let's try something a little bit harder. How much ATP is oxidized from four molecules of glucose? We know that normally glycolysis produces 2 net ATP, 2 pyruvate, and 2 NADH per glucose molecule. Now we multiply that by 4 because we have 4 glucose molecules. So in all, we make 8 NADH, 0 FADH2, and 8 ATPs. Normally in the PDC, we make 1 NADH per pyruvate, but because we have 4 glucose molecules, we have 8 pyruvates. So we multiply this by 8 we make 8 NADH, 0 FADH2, and 0 GTP in the PDC. Normally, with one turn of the TCA cycle, we make 3 NADH, 1 FADH2, and 1 GTP. But since those 8 pyruvates produced by glycolysis turned into 8 acetyl-CoAs by the PDC, we multiply the products of the TCA by 8 as well. So we have 24 NADH, 8 FADH2, and 8 GTP. Now we total them up. We get 40 NADH and we multiply by 2.5. We get 8 FADH2 and multiply by 1.5. And now we add it all up. Four molecules of glucose yields 128 ATP when fully oxidized. Our last example asks how much ATP is yielded from three molecules of citrate being oxidized. Since citrate is involved in TCA only, we can go ahead and neglect glycolysis and PDC products. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the TCA template. If we start at citrate, we start right here in the TCA cycle. So we still make an NADH, another NADH, a GTP, an FADH2, and another NADH. So we make all of the products of one turn of the TCA cycle. Since we make all of the products of one turn of the TCA cycle, we can just multiply all of them by three because of the three molecules of citrate we have. So in all, we make nine NADH, 3 FADH2, and 3 GTP. We multiply NADH by 2.5, 3 by 1.5, and add them all up to get that 30 ATP are yielded from the oxidation of three molecules of citrate. I hope this video helped and thanks for watching.